Hello, hi again everybody. Hope this video finds you well. A new video from Raspberry Pi for the older generation. Just a quick reminder, just a quick reminder if you haven't, if you haven't yet got your Sun Founder kit to use the same components as what we're using, then please pop over uh, to the link I've got down below, the affiliate link. Just have a look at uh, the different kits and the different um equipment you can get there robotics all sorts okay so just pop over new video new project what we're going to be doing today is putting together the circuit for an alarm a manual alarm bell okay a manual alarm bell now let's go to okay okay let's go through what we need we need a passive buzzer, all right? The passive buzzer. Remember the plus is on our right. And remember it's the one with the open back, all right? It's the one with the open back. You see that? Yeah, okay. So the passive buzzer. We're gonna need a 1K resistor. We're going to need two 20s, two of them, resistors, a 1K, uh, a 10K resistor, and we're going to need a switch. We haven't used this component before. It's a little switch, turns on and off. That's how we're going to manually turn on the, the alarm. Right, it's like the alarms. I don't know if you've seen in the movies where they got one under the um, desk for getting robbed. You know, we need two LEDs. I've picked a red and a green. Remembering the long leg. The long leg. Actually, let me make sure you can see this. The long leg is a is the uh, life all right we're gonna need a capacitor a 104 capacitor I don't know if you can just see the 104 yep yeah, you can 104 and we're gonna need a transistor and this is the 8050 NPN all right, the 8050 MPN, not the 8550. Okay, so let's put this circuit together. Shouldn't take us too long. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the components on the board first. Okay, um, and let me just switch you to the schematic. Bring the schematic up, okay. So you can see the schematic. Now, the first component, as you can see on the schematic, let me just get my schematic up. I'm going to put it here. All right. Then we need the switch. I'm going exactly. I'm going to leave two spaces. Then I'm going to put the switch in. Then I'm going to leave another two spaces. The long leg on the right. All right. The long leg on the right. The green. The red. Again. The long leg on the right. Yeah, then we need our transistor, like so. All right, and then our active buzzer and the plus on the right, just like that. Okay, now we need our 
1K resistor. Okay, a 1K resistor. This one. Just make sure you can see the 1K resistor. Yeah, goes to the center pin of the 8050 across the trench okay so there's my center pin to across the trench center pin there okay so i've gone across the trench right then i need the two twenties to go to the two twenties to go to the red and green right hand leg of where's me two twenties the right hand leg of the LEDs. So right hand leg to the red one. Push that in right hand leg to the right one and push that one in gently gently okay just wiggle them in all right and then our final one is our 1k resistor what was that one i just put there they were the two that was the 220 and the 10k and our 1k resistor 1k resistor okay 1k resistor let me just bend it that goes from our left leg to the center leg of the switch so the left leg of the capacitor to the center leg of the switch. So left leg of the capacitor, center leg of the switch, like that. All right, so that's our uh, resistors done. And now we can do some cabling. Let's get a blue cable. Let's do that top one first from the right leg of the capacitor to the center leg of the switch. Like that. Okay. Now we can ground... Two, three, four blacks. Four black cables. So the left leg of the capacitor to ground. All right. The left leg of the switch to ground okay the left leg of the green led to ground the left leg of the red led led to ground the same ground we now need another ground a black the left leg of the transistor to ground one two three four five grounds one two three four five grounds right 
We now need a yellow from the right leg of the transistor to the left leg of the passive buzzer. We then need a red cable jumper wire from the plus the right leg of the passive buzzer to 3.3 .3 volts. So far, so good. Yeah. We now need a blue cable and we're going to go from GPIO 18. I need my magnifying glass for this. I should know where these are by now, shouldn't I? GPIO 18 to the centre leg of our switch. All right, so we've got two cables going to the centre leg of our switch. Let me just move things around a little bit. Let me just take this blue one up one and put the next blue cable. If I can make my way through nice and neat without pulling the other ones out. And that goes in the center leg of the switch. A little switch. All right. And then we want a red. <coughs> little red one. Where are we? Come, come, come. And then that goes from the right leg of the little switch to 3.3 .3 volts. All right. Hope you can see that all right. <coughs> so basically, I think that's that top half just about finished. All right. So we got our 3.3, .3, we've got our ground. Now we're going to go from, it's a green wire. Yeah, green from GPIO 17. GPIO 17. And that goes. Take it underneath to our first resistor on the green light. Am I going to reach? No, I'm not. You have to get a longer cable. Bear with me. Um, see if that one's long enough. That one should be long enough. We're going to have to do our, our attachment. Okay, we have to do our attachment. So we go there, attach that, GPIO 17 to our first resistor. All right. Next, it's got um, mauve, but I haven't got a mauve one. I have got a blue one. So we're going to go from GPIO 27 to our next resistor yeah just like that then our last color is orange i haven't got an orange so what i'll i have got an orange no i haven't i've got a white so i'm going to use a white and that goes from a GPIO 2722. And that goes to our last resistor. Last resistor that goes to the transistor. All right, let's just check that. Let's just go through. D D D. Yeah, that goes through there. There's that little button. What I might do, so I can get to that button, move it back one row. 
There we go. So I've just moved it back one row so I can get to the button. Okay. So that's our circuit complete. That's our circuit complete. Not a difficult circuit, uh, but it's complete. And in our next video, we'll be doing the configuration for this. We'll be doing the configuration for our manual alarm. Now, the good thing about this manual alarm, um, you can attach other components to it, um, like a, a temperature alarm, so you can put a temperature a module on it, uh, a photosensitive sensor you can put on it, all right? And that will uh, be able to set up an alarm that way. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and also subscribe. All right, subscribe. I think it's going to come up there. All right, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.